So this is chapter 26 of important synonyms. The link to the playlist of synonyms would be given in the description box. Do have a look. To begin with, the first word is with the meaning to walk leisurely or aimlessly. Can you think of a word with this meaning to walk leisurely and aimlessly? And that is wander. W-A-N-D-E-R. So let's learn the synonyms of wander. But the synonyms would be related to these three meanings or connotations. Okay. Wander means to walk. Wander also means to walk aimlessly without any proper destination. Wander also sometimes means to travel as well because to travel sometimes implies to walk. So our synonyms would be related to these three implications or undertones in the meaning. So the synonyms of wander are stroll. Stroll means just to have a walk. Amble. Saunter, walk, doddle, potter. Did you ever know that potter meant to walk? Potter means a person who makes ceramic ware. W-A-R-E, ceramic ware. But potter also means to walk. Next is ramble. Ramble or la rambling means to write aimlessly, to talk aimlessly and even to walk aimlessly. Next is maunder. Maunder also means to talk as well as to walk. Meander, roam, rove, range. Haven't you heard of the automobile range rover, rove, range? I guess the name of that automobile would have come from these words. Rove and range. Range means to travel over a wide area. So that's what range rover does. Next, these are phrases I thought you shouldn't miss it. So I have just included. Knock about, knock around, mill about. These are phrasal verbs. I thought you should know which means to walk. Next is drift also means to walk. Coast. Coast is not just not just an area but it also means to move, to walk. Next is gallivant, gad about, gad about is travels. Next is prowl, prowl uh, means to walk hidingly, mill about and trek. Next is trudge. Trudge means to walk slow. Strevek. Strevek means to wander. Treps. Treps means to walk. And mosey also means to have a walk or to go for a walk. Tootle means to travel. Mooch means same as strevek that is to wander. Next is bimble. Bimble means to walk. Next is peregrinate. It also means to wander. Itinerant means a person who keeps on traveling. Okay. I have also included a list of names addressed to persons who keeps on traveling and walking. We'll come to that. Next is wayfaring or wayfarer is again traveler. Itinerant is traveling. Float is optional. I included that word only because it means movement, floating. Next is voyaging is again travel, touring, peripatetic. Next word is peripatetic also means to travel. Peripatetic has got its rhyme with very pathetic. Peripatetic means to travel. Nomadic also means to keep on traveling. 
and walking. Vagrant is a person who keeps on walking. Vagrant. Next is errant. Errant, E-R-R-A-N-T. Errant is traveling for adventure. A person who keeps on traveling for adventure is errant. Next is worm. Did you ever know worm meant to move or to walk? Worm also, he wormed out also means the same as to move out. The next word is stray. It means to walk. Depart also means to leave, to walk away. Next is zigzag. Zigzag means to move. Now, the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words from weir to divagate. It means to go anywhere, to walk aimlessly without a destination. To walk aimlessly. Okay, from weir to divagate. Weir, swerve, deviate, digress, weary, drift and divagate. So these seven words, they mean to walk anywhere aimlessly. Next is promenade. Promenade is a public walk on the road. Next word is really surprising. Constitutional also means to walk. She went for a constitutional means she went for a walk. Next is airing. Airing also means to walk. Perambulate. Perambulate means to walk. Next is swanning. It comes from the bird swan. It means to move. Swanning means to move. Excursion is optional. I have included this word only because excursion means journey and journey is similar to wandering anywhere. Next is Passeggiato, okay? Passeggiato. It's an Italian word that means walk. Next is plod, hike and tramp. Plod, hike and tramp. These three words mean to walk. The last word tramp also means a person who keeps on walking. Next is trek. Trek means to walk. March again it means to walk. Troop means to walk. Petrol means to walk. Foot slog also means to walk. So these five words from trek to foot slog it means to walk. Next is yomp. Yomp means to march and march means to walk. Who fit also means to walk. Toddle means to walk. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six words. From jaunt to sally, it means trip. The meaning is trip. Okay. Let's see. First is jaunt. It means trip. Next is junket. It's also trip. Excursion is trip. Hurl. Hurl means to throw away. Hurl also means to ride r-i-d-e it's also a trip next is cruise also means a trip sally also means a trip next is hopscotch hopscotch means travel so these are the list of names that exclusively specifically refer to persons who keep on wandering or who keep on walking Okay, let's have a look. First is bum. So, who is bum? Bum is a person who keeps on traveling. Hobo. These all these words mean the same thing. Tramp, traveler. Vagrant, traveler. Vagabond, traveler. Next is homeless, derelict, itinerant, which we discussed earlier. Traveler, drifter, wanderer. Next is beachcomber, okay. Next is bagman and bag lady. Next is sundowner, sundowner, swagman, swagman. Next is crusty, crusty, okay. 
so from bum to crusty these are the names that refer to persons who keep on walking next we have two more names that is pariah and mendicant pariah and mendicant these are actually undesirable people these are beggars or treated as outcast they can be traveling or they may not be traveling also now we have two more words that refer to aimless walk and that is loitering loiter and the next is dilly dally dilly dally d i l l y and d a l l y so these are the synonyms of the word wandering and here we move on to the next word the second word with the meaning is give yourself to a superior force can you think of a word give yourself to a superior force the word is submit okay so we learn the synonyms of the word submit but let's learn the deeper meaning of submit so the first meaning of submit is to obey to yield to a superior force second meaning would be obeying to an extent that you lower down your moral standards okay you obey dangerously to a bit, to a bigger extent that you forget about yourself you start lowering down your the protocol and the standards okay and the third meaning of submit would be you start obeying to an extent that now you start flattering your superior force i to be precise flattery means to shower insincere praises now you cannot be without that person okay so you start flattering your superior force so that's also a dangerous obedience but we will not be discussing the synonyms related to this implication okay we'll discuss the synonyms related to obey or submit in its literal sense and we will also discuss the synonyms related to the second implication that means obeying dangerously that you lower down your moral standard so this will not these synonyms related to the third undertone will not be included so let's learn the synonyms of submit and the first is to yield to yield means to surrender cave in also means the same to submit obey obedience next is bow bow means to bend but that's its literal meaning to bow also means to submit and surrender next is capitulate relent relenting means you are yielding you are submitting to a request next is subservient and servile subservient and servile means servant like you are submitting like a servant next is defer defer has two meanings i deferred my project or i deferred my plan means to postpone the second meaning is to submit next word is sakam sakam means death he succumbed to his injuries so other than death the second meaning is submit next is agree consent means permission permitting next is exceed next is conform acquiesce truckle comply concede accept and surrender next is humble humble means to submit next synonym is kowtow fall fall means to collapse it also means to submit yourself next is abide abide by is a phrasal verb observe okay you need to observe these rules means you need to submit to these rules observe not only means to notice it also means to submit you need to observe this means you need to submit next is heed and then brook 
Brook also means stream, but the second meaning is to submit. Next word is stomach. I can't stomach. This means I can't submit it. You need to stomach it. You need to submit it. Adhere. Adhere to is a phrasal verb. Next is subject. To be a subject means to submit. Suffer. Okay. We know the meaning of suffer as pain or discomfort. But listen to this example. For example, my conscience would not suffer. It means my conscience would not submit. Next is stoop. Stoop also means to bend. But that's the literal meaning. Stoop also means to submit. Next is budge. Pander. Pander too is a phrasal verb. Humor. So I hope you remember the second meaning of the word submit. That is dangerous obedience in a way that in a way that you even start lowering your moral standards you forget about yourself you belittle yourself you forget all the moral standards and you start obedience obeying your your superior force so the synonyms related to that implication or connotation are biddable Tractable, controllable, amenable, complacent, compliant, adjustable. Next is docile, submissive, tame, meek. Meek means weak person who can be easily tamed, who can be easily manipulated. Persuadable means anyone can persuade him, force him to do anything accommodating he's always accommodating he never says any no next is trusting over trustful person over submission next is credulous credulous means over trustful in a dangerous way next is gullible gullible means you believe anything and everything next is craven craven means no courage okay uh, so that has got a separate meaning no courage timid and fearless so the synonyms related to timid and fearless would be available in the uh, playlist itself you can check it out for yourself next is willing too much willing unassertive not at all assertive about your point next is non-resisting and obsequious obsequious means too much obedience over obedience next is self-abasing and self-effacing both these words mean the same and that is to belittle yourself for someone else next is brown nose brown nosing means too much obedience cringing passive sycophantic light all these words mean too much obedience and submission. Saki is obsequious. Obsequious means too much obedience. Loose limbed, spineless, willowy, open ended, easy going. Open ended means anyone can manipulate you, anyone can fill their thoughts in you, and you can be manipulated compromising you will agree for everything you will agree to compromise for anything and everything next is tolerant supine modifiable the person who can be easily modified with thoughts and feelings next is changeable obliging always obey next is acquiescent we discussed this word earlier acquiesce acquiescent means submission and over obedience so that's it all for today stay tuned for more videos on grammar homophones homonyms idioms advanced english phrases and synonyms stay tuned like share and subscribe